Well, it's Davos time again, and we're all headed off to that sunny place in the mountains. Um, and as I think about it this year, uh, creating value in a fractured world, um, it is going to be a real challenge. I think there are three things to look out for. Uh, the first thing is I think there's disruption everywhere, and it'll be interesting to see how people come together uh, around that disruption, what they think is important, what's possible to settle, what kind of alliances come together. And then on top of that, we have President Trump coming. It's the first time that a president has come in a very long time, and um, he's bringing a whole delegation with him. And Davos is a very small place to begin with, so uh, there'll be, that'll be a different kind of disruption, I think. But I think people will be very interested in what he has to say, and I think what he has to say will be very telling uh, because of who the audience is and because also of what President Xi did last year um, and how, how well he came across. So I think there'll be a lot of comparisons and it'll be very interesting to see. And I think the third thing is that this whole idea of creating um, uh, value or values in a fractured world, um, there's been a lot of talk last, starting last year about purpose and what I like to call responsible capitalism. And I think that especially on light of what we just heard from um, Larry Fink and, um, and his organization about what um, he's looking for in investing, uh, I think there'll be a lot of discussion about how companies can create more value beyond its uh, profits. And uh, I'm really looking forward to that discussion. So we'll let you know what happens.